everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Tonight, we're at the opening night of Not Scary Farm 2024. This is the theme park con event that started it all 51 years ago. And tonight, we'll bring you with us through all 10 of the terrifying mazes, including two brand new houses added just for this year's event. Why don't you come with us on this adventure? They're delicious. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Look where you come into my world, you come out. Come out of his mind. Laughter standing in your way before I become myself again. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that guy was trying to buy some Not Scary Farm merch and he had like a, like a whole can of change and they wouldn't take his change. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I miss them every year. I'm so happy to be back. If you didn't know, Not Scary Farm is cashless. Uh, you need to bring your credit card. We're only ourselves. Oh. We want to be ourselves. Okay. But when we're not ourselves, you're someone else. Okay. Yeah. And you want to find who you really Our want to be. Yeah, that's true. You want to find who you want to be, don't you? He called me, not you! I think you just need to sign up for an a Amex or something. <laughs> okay, enough. Oh, Sarah Marshall. Darling. I think I say this every year. Universal Studios has a lot more budget, but there's nothing like walking through Ghost Town in the oh, fog. Amazing. Ghost Town is the best. Like, I could literally just spend all night here. It's so good. Okay, I don't want to know. I I regret asking. No. Okay, okay, no, I'm good. No, no, no. <laughs> what I love about the Ghost Town Scare Zone is they have like the core group of characters, and then every year they have like a few new ones. Like, I don't remember seeing that fly guy last year, do you? No. Maybe. Oh, so creepy. <laughs> Okay. 
Another thing that makes Not Scary Farm unique is the sliders. The sliders will get on all fours, they'll slide at you, and they get really close. Yeah. The first house that we're gonna go into tonight is the Origins of Calico house. This one is with Sarah Marshall, who we just saw in Ghost Town, and it's kind of, it's the origins of why there's so many freaks roaming around Ghost Town. So let's go. Well, and help us in the search for Sarah Marshall. Now, if there's one person who knows how to track things down, go across the country and look for things, it's this gentleman right here. Now, please, you found the Sasquatch. You? Now, we found you Sarah Marshall. Here. I found the Sasquatch? And Big the foot? and I feel like they added more props to it. Am I like crazy? I feel like there was things that like I didn't notice from previous years. That house is a classic. Yay. Yeah, that was a good one. That was good. Love that witch towards the end. What is your favorite, Adam? And that one, the Caddy Wapus. I mean, this has been here a few years, so it's, you know. But I think the witch that like flies above you. We didn't get the flying witch. I think we missed it by a couple seconds because you guys are in front of us. So we'll have to go through again. I like the big hand that reaches out too and tries to grab you. The next house we're going into is Grimoire, which is basically like this evil book that's been throughout history and it sucks us in and we, you'll see. Damn, it just read something and it unleashed some kind oh of power. God. What? It's gotta go through. Oh my God. Should we be going in there? <laughs> is that safe? <laughs>
scare on that one is the guy in the bungee that jumps out at you. That was really cool. Well, I guess it just happened. So the next maze we're going to is called Room 13. And basically we're going inside this hidden speakeasy called the Blind Tiger. They have the Devil's Elixir, which you shouldn't drink at all. There, there's no reason you should drink that. What are these monsters? I can be 
babysit them. Okay. I, I know some of the kids like to be like make them quiet and everything, okay. so I can make them quiet. Okay. Just a little stab, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I can Just make them. Just a little stab? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'll do for me. I'll do for me. Oh. All right. Thank you so no. much. Oh. Okay. Oh. So next up, we're walking through the Carnival Scare Zone. It's filled with clowns. It's like a boardwalk from hell, and I don't like clowns. I feel like there's so many new clowns this year that I don't remember from last year. I love this scare zone. Oh! Are you a cat? Are you a cat? Because I'm looking at that. I'm starting to pick up the vibe that you are in fact a cat. I don't think she understands how cats work. Are you like, oh, you're the, oh, so you can't play. Uh-huh. Animal control. Okay, I'm not a cat. I'm not a cat. I think you are. I'm not a cat. I'm not a cat. I'm not a cat. Come here. You are a cat. You are a cat. I'm not a cat. I think another thing that I love about the Carnival Scare Zone is the clowns here are a lot more interactive than some of the other scare zones. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh, what is giant baby or what is that? okay? So next up, we're going to Mesmer, which is kind of like the psychedelic sideshow, and it's kind of it's kind of screwed up. This one. This one's fun. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh my god, okay. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, that one every year is really good. Oh, so good! It's uh, the music, the like whispers that follow you through the entire house. It's just so much fun. Oh my god, it gets me every time. It's just like so disorientating. Like there's all these rooms that like the one where you're like walking across the thing and it feels like it's spinning. And I feel like they like follow you around like, oh, it's so good. Next up, we're gonna go to Cinema Slasher, which was one of the houses that they added last year. And it was one of our favorites. So this one is obviously based on like cinema slashers and you kind of like walk into the, the slasher movie and then they try to slash you. I love this song. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. That was cool. And enjoy the movie! I got you really good. Daddy! 
Why does Knott's go so hard? That guy literally chased me through multiple rooms. Uh, that's a good one. I really enjoy that one. Popcorn monster yeah. with knife. I love it. What about the camera monster guy? Uh, great as always. Yeah. Everything was great. It's like everything got plus this year. I was really worried with like, you know, kind of Six Flags taking over. What was going to be the quality of the houses? But everything is maintained the exact same standard, if not improved upon last year. So, good job. There was a guy that followed me through like five different rooms and put his knife like this close to my face every single time. I'm gonna be honest with you, what usually happens is a house comes out and then the first year it's awesome and then additional years it gets like less and less awesome. But this one was like an upgrade over last year and last year it was our favorite house. So, jeez. But those not scare actors go really hard. Like literally they chased Kitra through half the maze. It was insane. And now we're gonna go into the spookiest part of not scary farm. Camp Snoopy. Oh my god. Uh, I thought you were No. Give me the shoes. No. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought that was Peter. Me too. I thought Peter had you do that. Your mother is a hamster and your father smells of elderberry. Yes. <laughs> you guys should be running around the floor. <laughs> Turn the ball all over this place! Hey! How you doing? People wonder why they don't do scare zones in like Minions Land at Universal Studios. I think we finally have our answer. It's kind of unsettling to walk through like a kid's area and then, oh, uh, yeah. It's dark over here. What? No, I'm not giving you my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> He told me he'll get them later. Grab up the shoes! I'm not giving anyone Grab my shoes! Grab up the shoes! I'm not giving anyone my you shoes! You got shillings? You got shillings? No. Yes. What do you got? Shillings. Let me see what's in the bag! I got five shillings. Oh, really? Do you? I don't believe it. What about you? Wait, wait, wait. Do you want the shoes or what's in the shoe? I need shillings! Oh! Shillings! shillings. Oh! I thought people keep asking for my shoes. shoes. Well, that's just wrong! Do they want your shoes? Yeah. Yes, yes. The shoes do look shiny and pretty. They bunch of foot freaks out here in this scare zone. Next up we're doing Chilling Chambers, which is a house that is celebrating the history of Not Scary Farm. So it's like a bunch of like mini houses all in one.
underground, with the zombie smell almost as bad as the people in front of you. That's right, yeah, it's the underground. Don't mind the smell, you'll get used to it. This is awesome. The ground shaking. Earthquake. No. Retired mazes that retired last year. I think that was actually better than it was last year. I was a little disappointed last year, but there was a lot of fun to be had here. Yeah, that one is just so fun because each room is totally different. It just gets creepier and creepier. I'm just always blown away by how creative they are here. Like, it's just so much fun. I will say that I wish every year when they retire a maze, they would put a room in that maze. So, So yeah. last year they retired the depths, <laughs> and I wish they put like a room from the depths. Well, I did notice they had one of the robots from the the other one that they retired last year too, but I didn't have a whole room of it. Yeah. Yeah. 
But I think that would be cool. Like every year, you put the best drum of the best maze uh, that's been retired into yeah. that maze, and it becomes like a new maze every year. Yeah. yeah. Good idea. Or the shoe. Yeah, you just wait for. I mean, I could probably go right now too. So. <laughs> He's going into the bathroom after. Oh, oh no. What is that? Oh, this is necrosis. Oh, necrosis. he's got plague. Oh, the we're plague. sharing. Okay. Oh, oh. it's bubonic. The other ones are overdone. It's <laughs> so this year they're doing this new thing called meet and creeps, and it's like meet and greets with your favorite scare actors. And we actually saw one for the bride, the ghost town bride, who is like my favorite, my girl. So we're gonna wait in line to meet her. Next up, we're gonna do Waxworks, which is one of our favorites, and I think this is its final year. So, pour one out for Waxworks, pour some candle wax out for Waxworks. That. That's a mistake. That's our HR.
That last scare got me so good. I feel like a lot of them knew our names in that one for some reason. <laughs> they were like, get out of here, Kitra. I was like, why are you yelling at me? Next up, we're going to Bloodline 1842. This is set two centuries ago. We're going into a vampire den to kill them. The first year you were equipped with a laser tag gun, and it was kind of cool, but they removed the laser tag gun and it hasn't been cool since. So it's probably our least favorite maze this year at Not Scary Farm. At, le at least in anticipation. Let's see. Maybe it'll be good. Welcome to Valdonia, brother. Right this way. Kevin, what the heck was that? There's one good thing in here. Ah. Yeah. intention was for you to play like a video game and it just doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Still my least favorite. But you're right, it does have like some like epic moments but like that end scene where like we burst into their lair and we're killing the vampire. Yeah, but it would have been more fun if I had a gun and I could shoot them. Yeah. Like could you it, shoot vampires? Well you, you How does you, that you, even work? No, you go into that room and you shoot the the windows and that the light comes oh. in, remember? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. Yeah. It was, it was a fun scene when we had guns, but... Yeah. Yeah. So there are two new houses this year, and we saved them for last. The first one that we're going to go into is called Eight Fingers Nine, which is kind of about, like, a boogeyman sleep paralysis demon who's haunting this colonial town, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but let's go. I don't believe it. Seven fingers now, then eight fingers now. The feast in full swing, the blood flows like wine. Another reminiscent 
I think I liked Bloodline better than that. Really? Yeah. You didn't like that? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I I didn't that. understand, like I get the basic premise of it. The thing that I liked is there's a lot of animatronics in that, which was kind of fun. Yeah, but the animatronics were weird. Like at one point there was just like a head coming in and out and it like wasn't scary. So we're saving our final house, which is the widow's house, which is all about black widows. So I'm hoping... This is the one that Kitra has been terrified. I'm so scared, and I don't know why we're saving it for last, but like, this one wasn't really that scary, so maybe that one won't be that scary, right? Okay, I gotta say, this facade is incredible. Oh God, it's already... Oh my god, I don't 
in her image. We sacrifice our own withered body for the sake of the bloodline. Okay, that was good, but it wasn't as terrifying as I thought it was going to be. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. The scariest thing about it is that it was so dark in there, and then it just kept going and going and going. And it, like, went a lot of weird places that I wasn't expecting. Like, that giant spider lady at the, the end. The premise was, like, literally just black widows in, a like, an old person home. You know what's scarier than spiders? Old people. That was a joke. Yeah. But, like, it totally, like... We left the old people's house and went somewhere that I don't even understand, but that was good. That one was a lot of fun. That was bad. That was real bad. <laughs> spiders everywhere, different morphs and hybrids of spiders. You feel like stuff is touching you. Okay, the entire time, I'm done. I'm done with the night. I want to go home to my safe, spider-free bed. Spider queen, did you see the big spider coming from the b above? It was yeah. tough to be a bug on steroids. It was a living hell. It was no. Oh, God. I hate... I never want to do that again. That was bad. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Woo! Oh, uh oh, watch out behind me. <laughs> I gotta admit, I think we had more fun this year at Not Scary Farm than we did at Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood. Yeah, it was a blast. If you want to see our experience at Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood, put the videos right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Lisa, Mason, and Sean. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see, see you, you on the next adventure. Yeah. Not in the fall.